Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Nave. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a guide for AMD users on how to 4-3 stretch the top and bottom black bars on Apex Legends. Now, if you are unfamiliar with what's going on, I'll try to put like a screenshot on screen right about now and show you guys what I mean by this. But there you go. So this is how to stretch those black bars out and move on with your lives. So as I said, this is for AMD users only and I'm making this video because AMD users don't get much love when it comes to 4.3 stretching. So first you're gonna to need to go to your Radeon software. First you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to go to gaming. Now, once you've gone into your gaming tab, you're gonna to wanna to go to Apex Legends. Then you're going to want to find the word scaling mode. And then you're gonna to wanna to set it to full panel. From whatever it was on default, you're gonna to wanna to set it to full panel. Next, what you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to have to go click back onto the gaming tab. If, uh, if nothing happens when you click here, you can click home and then gaming again. And there you go, it should bring you back here. Now you're gonna to wanna to go to global display. This is where you're gonna go ahead and set your custom resolution. In my case, I'm using 1440 by 1080 at 165 hertz, that's my monitor. You can actually X out of this. In my case, I'm just going to minimize it. Now you're gonna to wanna to go into your file explorer. So you're gonna go ahead, click on files, click on C, click on users, and then your account. And then you're gonna to wanna to find saved games. Respawn, Apex, Local. Now we're gonna be here. If you're too lazy to go through everything, just remember going to your C drive, your users, and then your name. And then the rest of this line, this save, this like uh, save games, respawn, Apex, local, will be down in the description for you to copy and paste it up in the top. So now, once we're in here, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and click on video configuration settings. Now you're gonna go in here and you're gonna make sure that you set the resolution for the, uh, for the game, 1440 by 1080. If you wanted to use a different resolution, you're gonna need a different resolution in AMD as well as in here in the notepad. You're gonna use the same resolution as what you're, whatever you set in there. So that's what you're gonna use. Then you wanna have settings for full screen zero, border, no border, zero. And then I'm just gonna go here and just say it out for you guys. So zero, zero, so everything is four zeros and then one, zero, one, one. That's all you're gonna need in here. You're gonna hit file and save. Me, it, uh, it won't work because I already have it saved. And then you're gonna wanna right click it, go to properties and hit read only. You're gonna check it. Apply, okay. Now we can go back to Steam or if you're on um, origin, that's the next thing we're gonna need. So now you're gonna go down to the description of this video and you're gonna right click, copy paste the command line um, that I'm gonna put down there. And it will give you all of this stuff. The only things that you actually need from this is this matte letterbox all the way to the end over here to building cube maps one. That's all you need. So once you've got all of this down, um, you can X out of this. So you're going to open up the game and you're just going to wait. Go ahead and alt tab to something else. It could be anything else on your desktop. Just alt tab to another program for now. Basically, you just pretend to be using another program. Just let it run in the background for a second. If you have a cutscene, let it, let it go through the cutscene. If you've copied the whole command line that I put it down in the description below, you shouldn't have a cutscene. So now you're just going to alt tab back to the game. You're not going to click anything. You're going to hold alt and hit enter. Now it's going to look like this. There's a giant black bar in the bottom of the screen. But once you hit continue, everything should be good. There you go. So it's 4-3 stretched and it scales weir weirdly. So I'm alt tabbing. So I'm on my desktop. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and try to scale it properly. Transform, stretch the screen. Now let's try alt tabbing back into Apex. Let's see what happens. Hey, it so happens that it actually didn't break this time. 
So, I said break this time because usually what happens is the game will go back into scaling into a really weird resolution. Oh, why does this freaking... Why are there dino sounds and explosions in this? I'm trying to talk here. So usually what will happen is the game will go ahead and pull back into the uh, the black bars up and down all over the place. Uh, resolution, it'll scale all weirdly again. But seems like in this, in this resolution and in this recording, it just so happens that it doesn't want to break. So again, it opens up in 4.3. You want to alt tab to another program and alt tab back. Once it finishes the loading, it says click to continue. You hold alt, hit enter on your keyboard, and it should just scale it correctly. Yep, there you go. It scales it perfectly. So, like I said earlier, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Nath, and I'll catch you in another video. Bye.